Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm a huge fan of Stable Diffusion, an open source machine learning text to image model that can be used to generate digital images from natural language descriptions. It was created by Stability AI and many other collaborators, classifiers, and artists have contributed their time and effort to making it awesome. I've noticed on the internet that some people are having trouble installing and getting started using Stable Diffusion. I'm going to show you the steps that I use on a fresh copy of Windows 10 to get Stable Diffusion running and generating images. I have provided links in the description to everything I downloaded and used, along with the guide that I followed. I hope that you find the information in this video helpful. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is open the folder where I downloaded Anaconda, Git, and Python. Double click on the Git installer, say yes to the UAC prompt, and then click next and next again. Here I click the check mark to add an icon to the desktop, and then I click next. And then I click next again, again, and again, a few more times, until it gets to this part, and then wait. Select finish. I'm opening up the Voldy guide, which is located at reentry.org slash Voldy, which I will also provide in the description. This guide has the GitHub link for the Stable Diffusion repository. Copy the link to your clipboard. Right click on your desktop and select Git Bash here. Now paste the link you copied into the Git Bash command prompt and hit enter. This step downloads the repository to a folder on your desktop. Step 3 of the Voldy guide contains links to download checkpoint files, which are several gigabytes. Open the folder that you downloaded the checkpoint files into, then open the Stable Diffusion folder that is on your desktop, and then click Open the Models folder. Click and drag the checkpoint file into the Models folder. I renamed mine to model.ckpt. Now I open up my Downloads folder and install Anaconda. I'm just going to click Next here and through each of these steps and click Yes when prompted by UAC. This part takes a really long time and I've clipped and sped up the video to get through this step quickly. Next, double click the Python installer from the Downloads folder. Make sure you click the check mark that says to add Python 3.10 to path and click Install Now and then say yes to the UAC prompt. Once it's done, click close. We're gonna open the Stable Diffusion folder from the desktop and double click the web UI user batch file. And watch the command prompt load and install all of the Python requirements into the Anaconda environment. On the first run, this will take an extended period of time. Once the model is fully loaded, you'll be given a local URL, http colon slash slash 127.0 dot zero dot zero dot one colon seven eight six zero yours might be slightly different so just copy your link and then paste it into a web browser and there you go you're into the web user interface and ready to start generating images there are some settings i would like to point out one if you have multiple model checkpoints you can select which one you would like to use here I only have one loaded, but we'll select it anyway. Scroll down to the user interface section and slide the slider to any number greater than zero and you'll be able to watch the preview of the images as they're being generated. This really helps understand the steps and denoising strength options and adds to the overall experience. There are other settings that you can tweak in here. I prefer to click the request browser notifications and make sure to select apply settings before exiting the tab. Click back into the text to image tab at the top to start prompting your personalized AI image machine to create anything and everything you can imagine. This 
is not what I imagined, but also not where it ends. In a future video, I'll show you how to get better results. In this video, we learned how to download and install Git, Anaconda, Python, Stable Diffusion, and how to successfully launch the Stable Diffusion user web interface to generate a text prompted image. Thank you for watching. Please like and comment if this helped you.